So we are starting right about now. Welcome everyone, it's six minutes past five o'clock. And we'll start, uh, I'm trying to, uh, sorry, I'm recording the call without letting you know. We want to record the call and then upload it to our various channels. This happens to be the first time we are meeting all the communities aside from the Grumi and the Mori team who joined some time back. Um, we expect to have other community members like the Kusal and the Dagari joining. But until then, I think we can start from now. So my name is Sadek Shahadi, um, the Grand Wikimedian Suicide Group. And today we are going to use this as an opportunity to discuss about um, our activities um, as a community. We would like to talk about what is happening around the Dagbani Wikimedians User Group. If I say the Dagbani Wikimedians User Group, I'm not referring to the Dagbani Wikimedia community. Um, also, what has happened within the other sister communities. So I'll start by talking about the Dagbani Wikimedia community. So um, as we all know this is the last month of the year 2022 and we will be wrapping up with all the activities for the year and also we are planning to you know start other projects in the coming year and we want to know how we are faring and how we can bring other ideas to our programs and how we can connect our activities to the other uh, sister communities. So this is going to be a very brief meeting and I expect all of us to be open and share everything that we need to share about what is happening within our individual communities and also as leaders of the various communities. So um, since the beginning of the year, we had a couple of say, uh, activities um, about Wikipedia, Dagbani, and Wikimedia Commons and Wikidata. So I think we started the year with Wikilas Folklore. And also we did um, other activities around Wikidata lexicographical like data by creating lexemes for Dagbani language. And also we um, participated in Wikilabs at um, contests editor term contest and then um, photo works in uh, different parts of the region, the northern region. We also did um, other photo works in the Yendi areas and then Bol Bolga and its environs. And we introduced the other communities at the beginning of the year, the Mori and the Bruni communities. It was first, we started with the Bruni, and then later we had the Mori joining. And also we've had other activities late that are connected to uh, education programs like the Tasi Wiki Hub, and also um, the workshop that we've organized at the school. Yeah, we, I also remember some of our community members traveling to Winneba to engage the students, especially the Bruni community. Uh, I also did that for Dagbani early in the year. 
at, at the beginning of the year to discuss how best we can connect our projects together. But since then, we haven't had a lot of uh, engagement with them. So these are some of the things that I can say about the Dagwani community generally. And I feel like it's been a very um, exciting journey. Um, it's been tiring and very, very uh, stressful. All the things that we have been doing, we plan to do um, a lot of activities at the beginning of the year, but because of the limited um, grant that we have, we had to just um, streamline and then, you know, do the ones that we can do for the at least for the first six months. So we are in the first six months of the year, and I can say that so far it's so good. And we also had some of our activities dedicated to supporting community members, like the capacity building training we did for team members. And then um, we also spent some time to um, work on our co-working space, uh, make sure we have some little things that will require for us to organize workshop or sessions here. It has also been a, an avenue for people to come and learn and connect to Wikipedia and communities around Tamale. So um, as and when we continue, I'll be able to remember some of the things that I did not remember to speak. And we also participated in Wikimedia Summit in Berlin. And the just ended Wiki in Daba. So our community has been involved in two Wikimedia conferences and two other online conferences, that is the Wikidata conference which we actively participated in. Uh, two of us hosted uh, sessions together. And then North, um, I think four committee members from our committee, we had uh, a two hour Wikidata um, Lexis, no, Wikidata data box session dedicated to emerging communities and smaller language Wikipedia communities, which was handled by myself and Shikawu. And then the Wikidata property translation by Musa and Mohammed. So all these things are activities that we've, we've been doing throughout the year, which is great. I think we've done so much uh, as a community uh, and we've also been uh, supporting other uh, communities as, as well. And then um, it is also important to appreciate all that we have done so far. Daraja, can you mute yourself? And also to appreciate our individual contributions. So thank you so much for all the contributions that we have all made towards the growth of the Dagban Media as an organization and a user group. And we also want to say that last year we started with just uh, a little over 1,000 articles, but as I speak right now, we have over 5,000 plus, 5,500 plus articles on the Dagwan Wikipedia, which is great. When we compare that to when we started uh, in the incubator, it was very little. And then in 2020, uh, around 2020, we improved. And then we came out of the incubator. And then by 2021, we had we had crossed over um, 500 articles. And then now, as of the end of this month, we had over 5,000 articles, which is great. And it's quite big and big, the biggest among the Ghanaian language Wikipedias. And we've been able to improve our Wikidata contributions. We have created thousands of Wikidata um, items. We, are, we have described so much labels and descriptions on Wikidata. We have created uh, Lexemes, thousands of Lexemes on Wikidata. We have translated Wikidata properties over thousands of them. This is huge. And this has given us um, the opportunity to, to, to be able to improve the interface of the Dagbani Wikipedia. The data boxes we added to Wikipedia articles now appears in Dagbani. We hope to translate that knowledge to other Wikipedias. And as I said, out of the, the, um, the Wikidata conference that we participated, the online version, we were able to support other communities like the Muni, Mori, um, Pigeon, like uh, Ghana, and then Yap, Wikipedia, and all of that. Now, all of them can boast of having data boxes on their language wikis. 
which is great. So thank you so much for your contribution. And I would like to end here and ask other members to you know contribute to this meeting. So we would like to hear from the various community leads, Mori lead, uh, Shitobu, Abudri, uh, Musa, community leads. So we would like to hear from all of you what you, are, you have done for the year and then what are the new things that has happened around your community. Yeah, hello. Yeah, hello. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, uh, greetings to everybody. And um, um, I'm happy to be part of this um, meeting. So from the Mori community, aside from um, all that you have mentioned, you know, most of them um, or some of the Mori community took part like the Wikimania uh, and the Wikidata, the, the Mori community took part. Um, so aside from that, what I will add is about the uh, the Wiki Vibrance um, project that happened and then the, the Mori community took part. And then before then, we had both in-person and then online meetings. And then the contest, um, Kick started for a month. Then uh, at the end of the month, a number of articles and wiki data items were created. And then the, a number of photos were uploaded as part of the activities for the Wiki Vibrance 2022, which is an international event. And then the Mori community took part. Yeah, so aside from what you mentioned, this is what I uh, I want to remind you of okay. which the movie, movie took part. Then I, the plans we have ahead of the year, um, we realized that uh, a good number of our members, you know, the community is a, a very complex one. And then uh, even though we are all here, the Mori Mori is like, is in um, several dialects. And then um, most of the members, especially those who are contributing on the uh, Mori Wikipedia incubator are from uh, Tamale. And because it is not, um, well, I see they are not actually natives uh, if you compare them with those from Burkina Faso and other West African countries. And again, most of them lack the orthography, that is the, the skill of writing in the language. So ahead of the year, we are planning to come up with a number for people who are well versed in orthography in the Mori language, so that they will take our members through how to write in the language. We are planning to do it uh, both physically in Tamale and then online for the sake of other members who are not in Tamale or in Ghana. So um, that's what I have to say for, 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 for now. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you so much for sharing. And um, I just have a, a quick follow up question. I seen that um, the uh, Mori language that is used in Ghana here is slightly different from um, it's, the one it's, in... it's, Yeah, it's quite different. Okay. It's quite different, yeah. Okay, so, and when you look at the two, which, where do you have members coming from? As far as our community is concerned, uh, majority of the members are from Ghana. Even though we have some members from uh, Burkina Faso. Okay. Uh, as part of our plan, we're actually, I'm planning on going for a membership drive, even if, if it means visiting some parts of the Burkina Faso, especially the capital. 
Okay, I think I've already said this uh, some time back. I, I suggested that to Hasselbeck and I never got any feedback from him. I also and I also realized that most of the people who will be contributing to the Mori Wikimedia committees may not be the ones from Ghana because Ghana, it is not a language in Ghana as it is in Burkina Faso. So it is important for us to engage the, um, the community outside Ghana since most of them are the ones who actually do the real work. So I, I did mention this to him some time back and I haven't had any information. Even I think the last project we had, we were suggesting that we make a trip to Burkina Faso to engage people. Um, as our annual programming does not currently allow us to engage communities, we can as well manage our way around that to find uh, ways we can connect to people outside Ghana, since they are going to be contributing to the um, the Mori Wikipedia. So it's something that we should be taking note of, and also we should be planning towards that as the year ends. Once we identify that most of the people who really know the orthography and may be contributing a lot are coming from Burkina Faso, then we should try and engage them. We should find a way to reach out to them. But if there's no plan, there's no suggestion, we will not know what is going on, like we are saying. So we should be able to know what help the community will need. And I remember, uh, I think I met one guy who, from Burkina Faso. They don't have a, a, a strong user group there. He was talking, to, he saw our uh, Dagbani committee and he said they want to be part of us since our user group covers Burkina Faso and Benin. So we were very happy about connect, our connections and they are very happy to, to, to be part of it. I think he identified one of the, the languages that is outside, that is not Mori, but also spoken in Burkina Faso that we can help them incubate. So those are very, very useful things. I think uh, that we should, um, we, should, we should look at and also see how best we can, uh, you know, we can engage them. So um, thank you for sharing that again. And the next, I would like to hear from the Bruni community, what the challenges are, what has been their progress with regards to the incubator and what they think we should know about their community. So it's open to you, Shitobo and Daniel. All right. Um, so thank you so much. Um, it has been a joy over the year, like working together. And what I would want to say on behalf of the Burundi Book Media community, Abugri is here, he can add more. And I'm sure Akakiri and Awin Butsma will join soon. So um, like the Mori community, I think this year we happen to have very similar events. We also did the Wiki Vibrance project, which is we just ended quite recently. Then we had an opportunity to also uh, participate in the Wikidata birthday. Uh, in terms of article creation and recruiting new editors, um, I think we've had um, quite a significant improvement this year. However, because our editor uh, our editor base is uh, is usually around students. Sometimes um, data is a challenge, but that is not just the only challenge. And in terms of improvement, we have improved a lot because I think um, at the beginning of the year, we had uh, less than 100 articles and now we have 400 articles. We have close to about 700 articles, but those ones that are currently accepted and meet the standard of the incubator are currently 400 which I think um, is worth celebrating. Um, again, we, we are planning on um, expanding our editor base to 
some of the northern colleges like the Biwa College, where the students have expressed interest. Um, however, because of the current strike that is happening, we've not been able to engage them in their school. And we tried the online two times and it never worked. Um, they had so many excuses of data and network and other stuff. So um, we are planning to host an interesting workshop for them to um, engage them and add them up to our editor base. So basically that's what we've been doing over the year. Uh, Abugore has also been engaging the Winneba community as well as the UCC community. The Accra group is also there, but they have become a bit defunct. They have not been very active of late. And that is because maybe we've not also engaged them so much. And uh, for the past one month, should I say, for the past three weeks, um, there's a serious decline in editing. And our one-on-one -on -one engagement with some of the active editors was that currently as they are on vacation, they are busy harvesting their farm produce. And as a result, they are not being, they don't get the time to edit. So we hope and wish that um, as a harvesting season passes by, and they get back to school, we'll have them in full flesh. I think basically this is what I can say. About if you have something more to add. Yeah, and I think um, your input sums it up. And then also, we've also to build more um, partnerships. So when I say partnership, as Yutubu mentioned, um, at the beginning of the year, we've had we've been trying as much as possible to formalize the the community, and then also to work with other persons or organizations that will help us uh, as a community. So, for instance, as mentioned, uh, the Bewa, the uh, Bewa College, as Bewa, yes. Um, so some of them reach out to us. We also reach out to them. We've also done that um, a couple of others with some community members who are working on our organization. So that's a conscious effort as much as possible to try and get um, some support from them. So forming partnership with other people. And then also we had um, um, the case where we looked at exploring as more community mentioned about um, a community member teaching or training them. We also focused on the the real skill set of the community members to build that and improve on that. So here in the case, we um, relied heavily on the skill set of each member. Of course, some members could edit, some couldn't edit, some are good with research. And more, more recently is when um, a community member published an article on the funeral rites in, um, in, in, in held in by, by, by the tribe. And that is a, a great resource in editing incubator. So what, at the beginning of the, the year, we had challenges about assessing some information. You know, when you, you wanted a community to, to edit in the incubator, the, we thought of, oh, let's write more about ourselves than just basically what's on Wikipedia. And the more we tried, the harder we found it because there wasn't enough content. So we thought about, okay, why not empowering our community members to, to, to create articles, to do their research, to do other things that will help us. So more recently, a recent one is the article that was written by someone, uh, one of the community members, and um, it was um, co-edited by um, Akakiri, who is um, one of the community, uh, that's the community's language advisor. And then uh, I proofread it in order to get it published on City Newsroom. And then also we um, focus much more on making community members write about their community. I know you might have seen, learn, learn about my community, where community members shared some insight about who they are, where they are, and what they are made of. So we realized that there were communication gaps or there were international literature, so people wrote about themselves. Then um, about the, what we, I mean, in the, coming, in the coming months and what we hope to do recently, we issued out um, a Google form to collate uh, the feedback from community members about the year, what we have done. So that also used to be guarded and a report will be shared.
Kamala asked about committee members. Now we realize that you no, know, he mentioned that um, she did mention that we work with most of, but most of them are students. So what happened here is that um, because they are students, they also undertake research at uh, at certain part of their time in school. So we looked at um, collating all those works and adding them into the incubator. So some of them are research work they've done. Some of them have done on festivals, female genital mutilation, some of them on puberty rights, some of them on marriage ceremony. And all these ones that they do, they keep them on the shelf. So what we have consciously told the members is that, as well as students, is that whatever um, research that they do, they should put them in incubator. And we saw that during um, when we I think is it uh, the Wiki Youth Month. So during the Wiki Youth Month, a lot of them used the day the, the research they had done and think they are submitted as assignments, which they had known genuinely that it was of um, great relevance in the incubator. So when you go into the incubator, you see student works as So basically, we looked at um, we had we were trying to solve the child the, the, the problem about access to information about our own communities, who we are, and what we are. And we resolved that basically by relying on the research works done by the students. And we are looking more into the future in getting um, the, the research work. So other committee members can basically look at that. If it is Mori and you have students learning Mori, if it is uh, Kusal, you have students learning Kusta, work, work through the students and whatever research work that they have, either poetry, whatever it is, let them put into the incubator. Um, as what we'll do more further, we are looking at getting, um, we'll get that also out there and we'll share that with you. Thank you. Okay, great. Thank you for sharing Shitobu and Aburi. And I really like the fact I that- I, I, I like the fact that I say, uh, um, using the student's um, capacity to build your community. It is very good. And I'm very happy about that aspect where like student, most of your community members are students. This is what we always want to do uh, as communities. And I think you have found a way to, to get things going for the beginning if you want to go with the students. Because they learn the language and they will be more inspired to create articles in the language than any other person. So thank you for that um, step. And also the fact that we've been able to create 400 plus articles on the incubator is very, very impressive. Uh, we did that, we did our own in one year. Even if you are not able to do it in one year, we should be able to um, get the Mori incubator um, by the beginning of this year or maybe in the latest by middle. So that should be a challenge for all of us to, um, to, to support and then get the Bruni out of the incubator by the middle of this year, hopefully. So thank you for all the contributions and the everything that you do for the um, Bruni with Media Committee. So now we move to um, Antoinette. Antoinette, can you introduce yourself and then the community that you belong? If Antoinette can hear me, please. Uh, I think we are meeting you for the first time. I've also seen uh, George, who has just joined us. You are welcome, George. So we are taking community members through our activities, what has happened mm -hmm. over the last couple of months from the beginning of the year to date. And as you may be aware, the, this particular call it's made up of members from the Bruni, Dagbani, Kusal, and the Dagari Wikimedia communities, uh, leaders. So we are all like leaders for the various communities. So we'd like you to introduce yourself to the community and the community that you belong. George and Antoinette, if you can hear me, please introduce yourself.
Okay. So whilst we, okay, I think Antoinette is on. Without, uh, your microphone is off. You probably haven't joined with your microphone. I can't see your mic. So if you can con connect your microphone, or maybe you just speak a bit louder. I cannot hear anything. Oh, probably. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think we can hear you now. All right. So my name is Antoinette Kunche. Okay. We are. I'm an empress. Please go on. I'm not sure if the network is coming from my side or students in the doing Dagari that you mentioned earlier. I think um Dagari is still a baby in this um our establishment. So for now, I'm still helping my people to get their accounts created so that we can start with our database. Mm -hmm. And um Abugri has been a very good help to about going down and since we are home it has been very difficult getting some of them on board since they live at places where we don't even have network mm. um yeah the 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 good news is that most of them are actually um trying and as the day go on people are also trying to get on board because mm. they've heard what is going on they don't even know what has been done but they are excited that at least their language can also go far. So mm -hmm. we are also getting people from other sectors who are willing to join. Mm -hmm. As I speak, um, Dagari is being introduced in UD when I will sell it to them and see if they'll be interested in it. And um, also have, um, a, a, a teacher's platform that is made up of only Dagari scholars. And because we have not really um, started that much, I don't want to um, bring in so many people and when they are not seeing improvement, they will think that we are not serious. I want us to get, uh, once a lot of us are able to get our accounts created, I can also get them to on board to help us because we have a lot of the gurus of Dagari on that platform. But because mm -hmm. we haven't gone far, I haven't um, really informed some of them, but I've informed most of them too about it so that they will know that this is what um, we are trying to do for our language. So I think um, that is where we are now. And then the, once the accounts are created, my people are very serious with it because they are happy and they were really sad during the training when they couldn't even find most of the things they think are popular in Upper West on Wikipedia. So mm. they are really um, excited to also do things that they'll be recognized for. So I think that is where we are now as a gallery and we are trying our best to also get on board. Wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing, Antoinette. And thank you for putting them together at Bugri and all the support we give to them. Um, uh, yeah, so we started at the later part of the year. Now that we are going to 2022, there's going to be a lot of support for your community. And as I invited like leaders of the various communities to join the group, I want to make sure that you and at least one other person or two people who are very, very active in your, in your community. Aside from Abu, do you have one other person or two people who are like currently very enthusiastic that you feel like these people are very uh, passionate about what I'm doing, just like the passion you have. If you have two or one other person like that in the community, please make sure they are, they are in the group that I created. I think um, we have, most of us have like different, uh, at least two or three members from the virus community so that we can see how best we can connect um, all of them together. So you should have a separate community 
you should have your own team community and then the general committee that we have. All the committees have that. Gruni have the, their general committee with all the volunteers. They have their team community with just the core team members, like I said, maybe two or three of you or up to four, it depends on how big your community is. And then the one that involves all of us. So all of the committees should have this kind of uh, separate groups so that we can coordinate things very well. And as I said, remember when I started, I was saying that the Dagran Okinidian Suicide Group, even right now we are thinking of all of us are under the Moli, the system Moli Dagran user, um, the system Moli Dagran languages. So the name may be sounding like Dagbani, but we call them Dagbani community, Bruni community, Kusal community, Dagar community. So there's, by next year, you should see a lot of changes with regards to how we operate and all of that. But what I want you to know for now is that um, the user group as one of the three recognized user groups in Ghana works to support all the 16 languages that we want to onboard. But currently we have only five of them or four. So Kusa, Dagari, Mori, Bruni, Dagban. These are the four um, languages that we are currently supporting. And it's an organization, it's a nonprofit organization, and it's working to support all of you and the future language that we hope to bring on board. So at the end of the day, our focus is to support the way the Dagbani language has gone is the same way we want all the other languages to go, the Bruni, the Mori, and the Dagari, and the Kusal. All of them are supposed to be at that level because we are working as a family group of languages. So just to let you know, this is what we will do. And thank you so much for the energy. And before we move to the next, Item I would like, if George is now available, George should kindly introduce himself and then we can move to the next step. Thank you for sharing, Antoinette. Oh, okay. thank you, you're welcome. Thank you, I'm George Alalbila, uh, Kusa Language Development I... Manager. Hello. Yeah, we can hear you, George. Yeah, I'm St. George Alalbila is my name, the manager for Kusa Language Development Project. Wonderful. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I want to believe that you work with um, the other um, colleague that I know. And I'm happy that you work with the Kusa Language Development Group. This is what we, we are, the kind of people that we are looking for, people who are directly connected to the language and people who do work that connects the language or promote the language. So like I said, we are in to support all the languages, the, the Kusal, Dagari, Bruni, Mori, Dagbani. We are in to support all of them. Last two years ago, we started with just Dagbani. Um, as of 2020, or to, yeah, 2020, 2021, we had Bruni, Bruni, and then later we had Mori. Now we have Kusal and then Dagari. So it's just a step by step. Instead of running alone, we decided that no, since the language is 16 Moli Dagban languages, we want to go with everyone. We don't want to leave because when Dagban is there and the other ones are not there, we haven't done anything. So we want to make sure we are all going together at the same time so that we can, because the languages are mutually intelligible, because we are all like, uh, we connect to each other, not because we are all from the Northern region. There are other Moli Dagban languages that are not in Ghana. They are spoken in Burkina Faso and Benin, according to research. So we are bringing all of them together collectively so that we can grow our space or promote the languages on the internet as everyone is doing for their language. So it is very important that we coordinate and then learn from each other and support each other so that we can achieve our collective goal. So that has been my vision as a leader of the Dagbani Wikimedia User Group. I want us to work together. I want us to have that kind of uh, connection among each other. We may be like different. We may not be able to speak very well. We can't speak each other's language very well, but at least there's some mutuality within the languages. If we all know, we all know that 
these languages are mutually like they connect to each other and all of that. So we should be able to support you. And your success means a lot to us as a community and as a uh, as an organization. So uh, at this point, I would like to officially introduce all of you to each other. Welcome on board, Dagari. Welcome on board, Kusal. And then congratulations to Bruni and Mori for all the work that you have done. So um, every because we are an umbrella for all the languages, the user group, we try to, with the little experience we've had with our community members or team leads, we try to assign um, leaders. So you are not going to be alone because some of you may be introduced to Wikipedia through friends or maybe through events or um, workshops. And you may not know a lot about Wikimedia, Wikipedia, when they talk about Wikimedia, what is it? When we talk about Wikipedia, what is it? Wikidata and all the other wiki wiki things. You may not be very good with that. And even if you know, you may not know how to, how to get your language going in the incubator, how to translate from the incubator, how to you know, build the community, which is the most important thing. You can do a lot of things, you can know everything. I always say that an expert is not a leader and a leader is not an expert. You can be an expert in everything Wikipedia, but you can you may not be able to build a community to grow. You can also be a leader. To, you'll be able to lead a lot of people, but you may not be an expert. So we bring all this together. In this case, we have a native speaker for Bruni, Dagari, and Kusa. There should be somebody who, even if they don't understand the language, they have the capacity or the skills necessary based on the experiences that they have done for other languages like Dagbani, Mori, and Bruni, to use that experience to support the emerging communities. So what we do as always is to assign, if you, if you are able to set up your team, we assign one team member from the Dagbani who will stick with you as a co-lead and then empower you, they will take you through every step that you need to do to get to where we are now, the Dagbani and then the Bruni and the Mori. So there's so much to do and it takes a lot of commitment and effort. I can tell you for sure, there are a lot of things that needs to be done. You need to build your pages, you need to set up uh, you know, your incubator, you need to build the interface, you need to do a lot of translations. The translations alone takes a lot of effort. You need to put so many things together. And you cannot do this if you are very new or if you have the numbers, but you don't have the skills or expertise to do that. So we have, um, some of our team members have dedicated their time instead of doing other things for the Dagbani user group. They have decided to support the emerging communities and they are going to be working with you like hand in hand throughout the, the process. So here already we have Shitobu, who is a Dagbani speaker and he's not a, he doesn't speak Bruni, but he's helping Abugre, who is a native speaker and an and experienced with media and they've been able to work together all this while. We have um, uh, Musa Fuseni, and then Mus Musa Fuseni is also a Dagban speaker. He knows nothing about uh, Mori, but he's been able to help them translate and then run activities, at least several activities, workshops, photo works, and all of that to where they are now. So as I said, there are two ways to do that. You need an expert and you need a speaker. So the native speaker is going to be the bone behind, the, the, the brain behind everything, but the, the support, the one who supports you is just coming in to help. Coming, to, coming in to help in so many ways. They will help you build your community. They will help you train your people. They will help you learn so much so that you can translate that knowledge into your community. So they will be with you from the beginning to the, to, to, to the end. I won't say to the end, but as and when time comes, we'll be able to find a way to, to engage them in one way or the other, but they are going to be with you. They will be dedicated to your course. So we have Musa who has been with um, 
Demori now because he because of his his experience with the Mori community, he will be reassigned to the Kusa. I see a lot of connection between him. He has been involved in the, so in the like putting them together and connecting them to us. So, and they agreed that they want to work with him. They wanted to stay with him. So he is going to move from Mori community to the Kusal group. So the new co-lead for the Kusal group is Musa Fuseni, who will start the Kusal group from scratch. I've set up the incubator. I've set up the translation um, language and we've posted all the most important things that you need to translate on the, the user groups, the, the user pages that, or the account that they have provided to me. So if you are uh, representing Kusal, please make sure all your, uh, those who created their account on the Kusal in, um, uh, on Translate Wiki have their account sent to me, then I can send them the direct link to what they should translate, the most important messages that needs to be translated. We need to do um, as much as 100% of the most important messages. There are hundreds and thousands of messages to translate on um, media wiki, but because of the, the work that we are doing, we need to start from the most important ones to be able to come out of the incubator. So I officially unveil Musa as um, a co-lead for the Kusal community. And then for Dagari, Aburi has been supporting uh, all this war. And of course, <laughs> he has a big task at hand. So um, even though he would have loved to stay with you as much as possible, and he will still be doing that from behind, but there's the need for us to get someone who will support you because he himself is leading another community. So he cannot combine two communities at the same time, he's a native speaker of Bruni, and he will be, he will be there. He is their leader, and he has to focus on his language for now until when we decide to do otherwise. So, um, the new person to support or co-lead the Dagari is um, Muhammad uh, Alasa Muhammad Awal. Alasa Muhammad Awal formerly or used to be our communications manager for the Dagban Wikimedians user group. So he also want to support the language. As I said, all our team members are willing to support um, the emerging community. So he, instead of doing communication, he want to dedicate his time for the new communities. And we have him for Dagari community. So from today, Musa will be in your um, programs. He will be working with you at different levels and he will officially be the co-lead for the um, Dagari. So I, I just want to be clear, um, Antoinette, are you the main lead of the community or there are other people that I don't know so that we can, Introduce them to Mohammed since you'll be working with him. Antoinette or Aburi is Annette the. Yeah, yes, Annette, Annette is the only lead we have. Okay. So, so I think you will build, since Mohammed is in, we'll build a team around that. Okay, wonderful. I think it's nice because this is the first time we are going to have a, a, a lady leading a community. So I'm very happy about that. It's very nice to know. So I, you'll be working closely with our to build the Dagari incubator. We'll start with you from building your social media pages, building your community and WhatsApp group, building your meta pages. There's so much to do. That one, I cannot lie about that. There's so much to do. And he has all the experience that you need to be able to get all of that running. And there's other ways we can access funding support to, there are certain things that we just need funding to, to do in terms of like the translation, for example, we have to do a few of them and then now go for um, money to support people, especially those who will be translated so that we can 
compensate them with their time. So Dagari and Kusal, that will be the next step, how we can get funding or money to support them to continue with the translation. We'll discuss that in your next um, meetings. So now we have, um, as Musa is leaving Mori, we have a large Darajat Abderafiu. He will now be working with, um, he used to be a facilitator for the Dagbani. So he will now move to the Mori Wikimedia community as a co-lead. And with his experience in facilitating for Dagbani, he's going to transfer all the things that he has learned from the community and as a team to the Mori community so that they can move from where they are now. And then we have um, Fuseni Mugisu. I don't know if he's still on the call. He, he comes in to take Daraja space as a facilitator. Um, as, no, he comes in as social media manager that was handled by Raha, and Raha moves to communication. So these are the changes that we have and we want to announce. For any other thing related to the individual communities, um, we will have separate meetings for us to, I'll, I'll be able to join your individual meetings to tell you more about what we can do together. We did a Kusal translation workshop. I'll upload the, the video soon. I've been busy now and I haven't had a chance to upload. I'll upload it. And then Dagari, I'll expect a scheduled meeting to do the translation as well so that I can walk you through how you can translate um, the incubator and then I will take it from there. So please feel free to schedule a meeting with me one of these days so that we can do a training uh, on that. And as I said, we, we need to create our meta pages. So all of that will be done by your leaders or police. Any question? Any question? Comments, suggestions, feedback. We should be wrapping up. Okay, a um, hand here. Okay. Yeah, hand here. So, um, just as we are working with with other communities, uh, we want to know whether do we still have the upcoming um, meeting in December, or since we are having this meeting that end, so we could also plan that community. And then also, um, second one is that. Um, with regards to we, the various sister communities, um, we would, would want to have um, to understand that uh, the secretariat, so we know that, okay, we are various communities and we are under this secretariat. So that we understand that we are not working as individuals and separate organizations as community communities. So maybe that communication that, you know, about restructuring the whole, the whole bit of that Banley Wikimedia and even what we are supposed to do in a year. Uh -huh. So maybe okay. that's it for now. But if I have more, I'll share them with you later after the call. Okay, thank you for that. So as I said, the Dagbana Wikimedians User Group is um, the umbrella for the various communities: Dagbana community, Dagari community, Kusa community, Mori community, and then um, which one? Yeah. So what this means is that all of you all of you are under or work directly connected or you are directly connected to the Dagbani group as an organization. The Dagbani Wikimedia, as I said, we have, Wikimedia has recognized affiliates in countries. So Ghana, we have three organizations that are recognized by Wikimedia Foundation and they directly work with, with them. So we have the Dagbani Wikimedia User Group, we have the Open Foundation West Africa whose scope are not related to um, just a particular language, they have their various uh, scope of work. We have the, uh, the Wikimedia Ghana. So these are the three affiliate communities. There are other language community, uh, Wikimedia communities that are not affiliated, but also work to support uh, Wikimedia activities in Ghana. But as a, a, chap, a user group or affiliate community in, in Northern region, all of us belong to the Dagban Wikimedians user group, as I said, because we are all under one umbrella. So the Dagari, Kusal, Mori are just like um, a sub, because they are la different languages, they have their own organization. They should be able to um, 
have like their own uh, community outside the dark band because imagine all of us are on one WhatsApp group <laughs> and we are going to be typing, somebody's typing something in Dagbani. Even though we all understand that all of us are one mutually intelligible language, it will be very difficult to communicate. And then as we all, we are based in different locations. If you are going to organize a workshop, all of us cannot be in Tamale because Upper East is for Gruni, then Upper West is for Dagare and then Kusal and, and all of that. So there's the need for us to have sub, we call them sub communities under the Dagbani Wikimedia communities. So the Dagbani itself is a sub community under the user group, which is an organization. So we have all of you as sub communities. And what we do is that we try to, um, we don't, the Dagban is not supposed to be deciding things for you. The Dagban is just to be like a, a mother or a guide to the individual communities because we don't speak the language and we may not know a lot of things about your community. You build your community and then we support you. So what from the question I picked from, uh, like what Abu is saying, from what I picked from Abu question is that um, he wants to know their uh, secretariat, if you say secretary, I don't know what you mean, but what we are doing is that whenever we are running a contest, for example, art and feminism campaigns, we are supposed to have it duplicated in all these languages and categories duplicated in all these languages moving forward. And then there's going to be specific projects for all the languages. So Bruni, we cannot come and decide for you what projects you should do. You should be able to think about what you want to do as a language community. Do you want to organize an activity that is related to your community alone? We'll be able to help you with that. And then generally, there are general activities that will bring all of us under one umbrella. So we do one workshop and everyone is supposed to participate. We do a contest and all of us are supposed to participate in our various languages. But if, if Bruni want to do something like uh, Lexemes, Wikidata Lexem for Bruni, they should be able to do that on their own. If Dagari wants to do, Kusal wants to do, they should be able to do that on their own because they are specific to a certain expertise, which as we already have a co-lead to support the Dagbani, I don't see how we can contribute to that directly. So indirectly we'll be contributing to that, but not directly. So, um, moving, there's so much that will be coming up next year. As I said, we were recently recognized and we are building up um, our programming, we are building up our communities and we are building up as an organization. So the vision is big. There will be a point where all of us will be able to meet for like quarterly meetings, especially the leaders as we are doing now, we should be able to organize such meetings in person where all of you will be able to attend irrespective of where you are, you come in person and then we discuss things. And as I said, the most important thing we should know about this group is that we are not doing it as a, as a one man race. We are doing it as a unit. So everything that we are doing should be, should be connecting us to each other in some way. So if you are doing photo works, there should be participation from all communities or language communities because photo work is, a general contribution for all communities. And then what the Dabani has done, Bruni or other languages can adapt it. We have set the pace and then you can just replicate what we have done and it will be very easier for you to do. So it will be like a, a, a pace set that we, we set something, we do something and then we'll allow you to also follow the same step to be able to achieve the goal. So um, I don't know if this has answered your um, question, about it. In terms of secretariat, I'm not really sure um, what you mean, but let me know. And as I said, no, the leaders, I won't say are employees of the Urban Wikimedia, but you are the leaders of the communities are employed, even though we don't have, even the Urban doesn't have staff at the moment, we have volunteers. But let's just assume that you are all working for the user group on in, in relating to your own language. So whatever you are doing, you are working with the Dagbani Wikimedians as an organization and affiliate of the Dagbani um, Wikimedia Committee in Ghana. 
but your task is like dedicated to your language. I don't know if this is making sense. So you are not alone. You are part of the Dagbani Indian user group. And if it is something that is like, um, as we grow and it's like a paid job, I would just say you are employees of Dagban with Indian user group working to support Isa, Dagari, or Bruni, or Mori. I don't know if this has answered your question. Oh, yes, this has perfectly answered the question and thrown more clarity on this. And uh, uh, that's why I said I'll later get back to you on the, on the secretariat bit. Okay, all right. Yeah, that, that's yeah. what it looked like. Yeah, well, and then uh, you didn't speak about the, would we have a fiscal meeting in December? To help yes. So that it could help us. Would we have it? So we are planning to have our end of year. Um, we may not have a, a meeting for team like um, community, like this, like this same team meeting, general team meeting fiscally for this year, but we can do that in the coming year. We are supposed to have at least three meetings in a year, meeting physically. So because it was not captured in our current uh, scope of work, we are learning to implement that in the coming year. So we, can't, we will not have a fiscal meeting because we don't have the capacity to bring all of you from different communities together like Accra, Upper West and all of that. But our end of year uh, get together, let's see. Depend on how things will turn out, we may just invite leaders of the various uh, community leads, like the same team members, to come and be part of the end of year celebration. And then next year, or as we continue to grow, we can have a centralized um, end of year get together where community members will all be invited from the various communities. So we have like a very big gathering like we did for the Wikidata birthday. It was three communities that we organized, that came together to organize it in Tamale. So that is the vision. And at this stage, I always say, we have to understand the scope of work. We have to understand the vision. As I said, we can just say, okay, we are the band, then we'll be doing our own thing. It, that is not our scope of work. If I say, this is what we are going to do then, there wouldn't be any need for us to bring the rest of the committees together. We could just say, okay, we are the band and then if you want to do your thing, oh, we can help you do this and that, then you be on your own. But at the end of the day, it's something that we have decided to do together. We see that, and it is true that it is sometimes very difficult to bring people together, even within the Dagbani community, bringing people from different skill set and different temperament, different uh, different other things, individuals together. It is always difficult to bring more than two people together because at the end of the day, you expect some misunderstanding, you expect some disagreement in some areas. It is very normal in human setting, but once we understand our collective goal, I'm sure we can work like this together until we have all the 16 languages together. That is the, the, the vision, that's the vision that I have for the user group. I don't want to have one group going this way and the another one going that way. I want us to be on the same page, like just going together like that. As they said, we are stronger together. Mm. Um, we'll be able to work together if all of us are united. So let's unite and then work together as a Moli Dagbani language family user group. Any other contribution? All right, thank you so much. So, and um, just to uh, let you know, Antoinette and George, there are other thing that we do in terms of like establishing, I've created a community participation guideline for the PUSAL that they shared, I saw on their group. So we have a community um, guidelines that guides our community. It's used in all the communities to let people know why we are here. We are people that are more interested in our language. There are people that are, we are people who work to promote our language. That is the collective agenda. The first thing that drives all of us is getting our language on the internet or Wikipedia. So if you come in, no matter your experience, your, your, no matter how good you are with the language and you come in and your reason is to 
come and share things or promote your work or do things that doesn't connect us to Wikipedia. We are sorry, we cannot have you. So we prefer to have people who are more interested in promoting the language willingly than people who want to be paid. We may have, like, like maybe you have a PhD in Kusal and you want us to pay you to, to contribute to Kusal language. We are not into, into that. Everything that we do is in the interest of the language. So our passion drives us. Aburi goes around, he has a, his own work, works full time with an organization, but he's able to travel to um, Winneba, go come do all the training and come back without being paid. Everybody does that in our community. We don't pay until when something comes, allowance comes and then we say, okay, take this for your effort, take this for your effort. And as I said, as we grow on, we keep growing, more things will come, we'll be able to do bigger things together. We'll be able to have like a much bigger organization. We'll be able to support ourselves. We'll be able to pay people or compensate people for their work. But for now, we are all volunteers, including myself. I also spend a lot of time. I work with multiple organizations, but I spend, I dedicate my time to not only Dagbani, but to other languages. Sometimes you see me helping other language that is not part of the Moli Dagban because of my other work, the West Africa language program that I'm working, doing with art and feminism. So I support Nigerian, Igbo, Hausa, Yab, Wikipedia, Ghanaian, Pidgin, Chi, and all of that. But with all of that, I still find time to focus on my core mission, which is the 60 Moli Dagban languages. So it's just the passion and the drive that is driving all of us like that. So anytime I see people on the call talking about the language Wikipedia, I just assume that all of us are already aware that we don't pay people to do that. We didn't pay anybody to create articles on the Dagbana until we hit the 5,000 articles and we will not pay. And it, it is not done anywhere. It is against Wikipedia's policy. So no matter how, we've had people who join our community. Another experience I would like to share with you all is that sometimes when you throw out a call for people to participate in your workshops, you have people coming in and they come in and then they were asking you, how much am I going to get? Just today I was training people at Hopping Academy and the people were asking me, they asked, three people asked me and I was dodging the question. And then they keep asking me, they want to know what is the payment. So later on, I just have to tell them that this is how it is. We don't pay people, but when you participate in activities, there are other benefits to that with time you get to know. But I can't tell you that no, they pay anybody for even the English Wikipedia. Nowhere in the world it is against Wikipedia's guidelines to pay somebody to create article or maybe edit Wikipedia. It doesn't work like that. But we can create programs that will support community members. We can create programs that will support our team. I hope this um, has answered most of the questions. And if there are no more questions, I would like us to end this call since we are 30 minutes um, late. Um, we've exceeded our time by 30 minutes. So any more questions, any comments, suggestions, feedback before we end the call? So I'll, I've recorded yeah. this call and I'll upload it. And those who did not get the chance to participate in this meeting can watch it later. All right, please go on. I have a comment. So, Please go on. Yes. Um, you mentioned um, the, the, the post that um, brought us all together. And I, I think that, I don't think um, we won't be happy that one day our languages will also be up there where people would um, get access to it um, easily. I am a researcher because currently I've started my MPhil. Sometimes getting materials online is, is hectic. You have to go back home and ask questions that they have even forgotten. So with the issue of um, uh, payment and other things, well, I don't know about others, but I've always um, have this in me that at least one day it, it will be good if all our languages are there, especially my language. So I am very happy to be part of this big family. And then I, I also look up to you to guiding us through. Thank you very much. 
Great, thank you. Yeah, I thank you for this uh, update. Uh, like my sister said, we've done a lot of work as far as the Kusa language project is concerned. I don't think you can be paid for translating the whole of the Bible. We did it out of the passion. We want our people to read the word of God in their own language. I've written a lot of other materials that uh, we did not have any pay, but the passion we have for our own language to be documented for generations to come to appreciate it. And so we are willing to work. Uh, but like you said, there is <clears throat> guidelines or policy that you came out with. Uh, if you can make it available to us, we know how it is. Yes, for sure. I'll, I think um, they have already shared it, but I'll tag that um, message again. I saw that they shared it, the community participation guidelines for Kusa community, where they say the heart of our community is people, we do this and blah, 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 blah. I'll tag it again for you to see. But thank you so much. You know, now we have the whole, the Dagbani, uh, the Quran in Dagbani, Wikipedia, all the chapters in the Quran is now on the Dagwan. So we can show you, if you have already collected the translation of the Kusa, uh, uh, Bible in Kusa, we can just get all of that on the Kusa Wikipedia, which would be great. So I would, I would, as we go on, I'll show you how you can put everything so that people can go to Wikipedia and just read the Bible on the Wikipedia itself. So that is very great to know. And all the good works we have done, all of them very soon, all of them, you, you sit back and reflect and you'll be happy and you'll be proud of yourself. You will feel uh, fulfilled and people will remember you forever. So um, let's keep uh, going on. Let's keep on going on and then keep pushing for our language. Hopefully by next year, we should have more languages coming. We are still in the incubator, Kusal, Dagari, Mori, and uh, Gruni. The, all the four are still in the incubator. So our goal is to get them all published live and it will now be officially part of the six, the, the, third, the over 300 current languages on Wikipedia, where if you want to edit Wikipedia articles, you don't have to go to somewhere to search, you just type Kusal, K-U-S, and then dot Wikipedia, just like the English has E-N dot Wikipedia dot org. Dagbani has D-A-G. So it takes a lot of things, like a lot of effort, but once we have people like you, I'm sure very soon, very soon we'll be there and all of us will be happy. Yeah, uh, if I may ask again, uh, I think I heard you mention you had training for KUSA. Is that right? Yes, I, I'm asking. Yeah, we had we had a first training. I was in Accra when we did the first training. I think three people participated. I took them through the translation because I, I did the first translation in KUSA. <laughs> I don't speak KUSA, but they just sent me the the message, the translation, and I published it. So there's a translation platform that we call translatewiki.net that you are supposed to go and translate like hundreds and hundreds of most, the most commonly used messages on media wiki. That means you are localizing the Wikipedia in your language. Like when you op open the English Wikipedia, you see create account, login, main page, um, edit, um, you know, all the things that you see on the interface, we have to localize everything into Kusa language. To do that, we have to do the translation. Even the days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, um, January, February, March, April, May, June, all of them in Kusa, we did for Dagbani, we did for Gruni, we did for Mori, then we should do for Dagari and Kusa. So we have to do that first intro translation. And then you have to make sure I get all the accounts of like those who have recently created their account on Translate Wiki and Wikipedia, then I can, we can automatically grant them translator right to be able to translate. Usually you have to translate a lot of things before they will approve you. But once we are working with the community, we can easily help you uh, move forward with translation as soon as possible. So yes, you should just organize, set a date and organize a 30 minute or one hour online call, then I'll come and take you through. Okay, I will do that. Dagari can do same. We 
well. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate your um, individual efforts and contribution. And I look forward to meeting you again soon. Um, my name is Sadek Shahadu. So see you again. Take care. Bye. Maybe we should show our faces more. <laughs> we don't know each other. I would, I would like to see Antoinette. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, Mr. George, it's Musa. We'll <laughs> see ourselves backstage. Yeah, ma, Musa, hey, I'm from Musa. Yeah. I am I am beautiful so far. <laughs> nice. So thank you so much. I would like to end the call here. See you. Bye.